Tara Johnson played uh, Barbara Jervis on uh, the show. That was the real earth mother of Bogan the star of the show. Yes, so I went to an audition when I was in Dallas and uh, I realized that when I got cast, I was the mother of the, man who, of the young man who was going to go off and save the world uh, from all of the aliens, but I had to be back in time for dinner. Uh, probably what you don't know about the shoot with, that we did probably lasted about three weeks. We had an entirely Japanese uh, crew who uh, was responsible for all the sound and all the cinematography. And this, uh, there are a lot of takes that you take on uh, do it shooting a film, and most of that is because there are sound problems. Uh, so an airplane could get go, going by, a dog starts barking in the background, so that's where we will stop and take, take cleaner takes. And one of the things that happened in Dallas was it was the year of the cicada. <laughs> so we, uh, we were shooting this all throughout the cicadas coming out and meeting their new uh, mates and, and doing their little cicada dance and going back into the ground. Uh, but it was cicadas all over the place in Dallas. And so when they got back to their post, uh, the post operations, um, they had to actually uh, try to get some of the cicada sound out. So it wasn't until we were actually airing it that it, it, that it aired that I was like, that's not my voice. <laughs> so I was looped. Um, it was the first time, yeah, not looped as that, but, uh, <laughs> but they hire an artist who will come in and watch your face on the screen and watch your lips and try to match your lips, speaking in another, another uh, voice. So uh, it's a great skill. You kind of have to get ready, and it's like writing and finding a rhythm with this, with this actor. So that was the first thing that I noticed about that show was uh, that that was not my voice. <laughs> I don't think it was my Texas accent, but the, there is that possibility uh, that I had a Texas accent that I did. So uh, we shot the film. Uh, it was a lot of, uh, we never really got a full script, so we never knew what the Japanese side was going to be doing. We only knew our little uh, scenarios inside a house. And somebody gave us their house for three weeks, and so we shot, the, uh, shot all the interiors and uh, had changes of clothes. And probably one of the biggest ones I remember was called Quick Time, where um, my character Barbara was baking a cake for the grandmother. And um, the, the Bodhi, Bodhi Lee, who is Christopher in the real world, uh, Christopher was playing his music really loud and he couldn't uh, hear everything. So his music was so, so loud. So his mother decides that he's going to stay home. Somebody else is going to go to the store to pick up something that she needs for the cake. So he doesn't realize that she's in the house. And all of a sudden, he starts to smell this cake burning in the oven. And so he runs down with his music playing really, really loud. And he picks up the fire extinguisher and hoses me down <laughs> while I'm holding the burnt cake coming out of the oven. So we, they covered everything in flour. Uh, the whole kitchen was in flour, I was in flour head to toe, the cake was in flour, and then he had, at the very end of this, do you guys remember this episode? Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> so at the very end of this, then Bodhi Lee had uh, felt bad, so he went out and bought cake for his grandmother, and he ends up, uh, we're cleaning up the mess, and he goes in and slides on the waxed floor, freshly waxed floor, and ends up eating the cake in his face. <laughs> so uh, anyway, it was a great opportunity. Uh, we had one, uh, director from Los Angeles company, uh, Deke Enterprises, out in Los Angeles. So it was great working with them. And then we were learning a lot of Japanese on the set, which I can't remember any of now. But, uh, but are there any questions that you have for Barbara or any of the other characters? Yes. Lockwood. Um, he, yes, I don't know where he is right now. Uh, I, I looked on IMDb. Do you know where he is, Jason? Yeah, um, so we, we tried to contact Chris Lockwood. He's actually uh, changed his name back to his uh, Polish or something name. I know uh, Vinny's trying to record this. Uh, unfortunately, he didn't respond to any of our emails or, or the letter that I mailed him, but we did try and contact him. He's actually a, a film editor now in, out in LA. Um, any other questions? Yes. Hi. Um, I remember the the episode also that we did where we were all dressing up for a PTA event, and so the guys are dressing up as the girls, and uh, I think uh, Kathy, the young daughter, was dressing up as a swami, and I have no idea what I dressed up as, 
but I remembered that the guys were coming in and Bodie, Bodie uh, Christopher didn't want to go and you know put on a girl's outfit. And he comes out with this blonde wig after all and this big evening gown. Um, so that was a fun, fun uh, event. And anything else? Yes, hi. Did you ever play Photon? Did I ever play Photon? Yes, we played some in the, uh, when, we, when we did the actual shooting. Uh, there was one episode where he goes off while we're all supposed to be having a family event. So we did play some Photon. Um, I didn't play a lot of it after that because I got married and moved off to Virginia uh, in 85. So, um, but my son played laser tag many years later. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Well, I just want to say it was fabulous to be here, and uh, I always think that Photon was the precursor to Power Rangers uh, and all of their battles that they had. Um, I think it's kind of funny that my son actually had a babysitter who was the Pink Ranger, uh, Aaron. Uh, yeah, <laughs> she was a Pink Ranger. He thought that was so cool. His babysitter was a Pink Ranger. So he was always partial to the White Ranger, but uh, anyway. Thank you very much.